what must I do to be saved? No one gets out of this world alive, so this is the most important question you can ever ask yourself. In fact, the Bible was written so that you may know that you have eternal life. So first, according to the Scriptures, we need to realize that we suffer from the sickness of sin. If we do not realize that we are sinners, we will not recognize our need for a Savior. Yet, our Savior does not merely save us from our sins. He has also saved us for sonship, saved us to be divinely adopted sons and daughters of God. We who have been saved are being saved and will be saved are destined for fellowship in the Holy Trinity. Furthermore, you must be willing to live a life of continual repentance. Repentance is an old English word that describes a willingness to turn from sin. It literally means a U-turn on the road of life, a change of heart and a change of mind. It means a willingness to follow Jesus and to receive him as Savior and Lord. Remember, Jesus said, repent and believe the good news. Finally, to demonstrate true belief means a willingness to receive. To receive is to trust in and depend on Jesus Christ to be the Lord of our lives here and now and our Savior for all eternity. It takes, well, it takes more than knowledge. The devil knows about Jesus and he trembles. It, it takes more than agreement that the knowledge we have is accurate. The devil agrees that Jesus is Lord. It takes placing our trust in Jesus Christ for eternal life. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. In some, those who realize that they are sinners live lives of repentance and receive Jesus as Savior and Lord are born from above to the waters of baptism. However, salvation is not complete in baptism, for we are presently engaged in a battle against the world, the flesh, and the devil, and thus we will be saved unless we sabotage our salvation through unbelief or unrepentant sin. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16 